Okay, Lancaster Lebanon League Media Day, Exeter Township head coach Matt Bauer. How different does that sound? <laughs> it's definitely exciting for sure. It is definitely different. This is a tremendous opportunity for us. Uh, the kids are excited. You know, this is really a nice event they're putting on, and we're thankful to be here. Yeah, I mean, talking with Mark Evans uh, a little bit earlier, he said that there was a group of coaches that kind of, you know, met with uh, LNP and kind of gave them, you know, what the expectations were. And he even said that, you know, they just hit it out of the park. I mean, you know, we've got some great space. I mean, uh, Eastern PA football here, we have kind of our own little, you know, like suite and everything else and uh, good food. But, you know, the best thing is, is that you can really smell that it's football season now. I mean, there's just kind of a smell and an aura about it. Everybody's excited. And I think they're excited because there's a sense of normalcy going into the season this year. What do you think? Oh, no question about it. You know what I mean? It's nice to get back to what we're used to doing. I'm a very re- uh, routine-oriented person. So <laughs> to get back to our regular preseason schedule and practicing, uh, it's definitely a breath, a breath of fresh air. Yeah, but you touched on, you know, what I've been talking about, coaches, you know, uh, with the change in the league. You, you're a creature of habit, okay? And I know that, especially about you. You want to know exactly where you're going. You want to know where the locker room is. You want to know how long the bus ride is. Um, that's not going to be the case with the exception of, you know, maybe like Mifflin. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's totally different. It's definitely different, you know what I mean? But it's exciting as well. It's great for the kids. It's great for both, all three counties coming together. There's going to be some great rivalries and uh, some great rivalries build. It's going to be some new locations that we're not used to playing at. So everything about it is exciting. It's great for football. And it's great for the kids, and that's the most important. Yeah, um, and obviously, you know, you were uh, uh, had a great season last year. Um, how many returners do you have coming into this season? We I think last time it was 11 or 12 starters so you know we you know we definitely graduated some uh, irreplaceable kids no question about it but we still have a lot of great kids coming back and some kids stepping up there's a lot of competition right now and it was the nice thing about last year is that group of seniors kind of set them you know the blueprint for what it takes to be successful and what is possible if you're dedicated and unselfish yeah that's truly i mean you know you guys uh, kind of set the you know set the state on fire there you know i mean and and how it went about how you know just you know looking back on that ride i mean how how does that feel now? I mean, the sense of accomplishment that you had for your kids in your program, and how do you take that momentum and translate it into, you know, these other kids in another season? Hey, it was great. Don't get me wrong. It's a memory we'll never forget for sure. But if we're complacent and we go backwards this year, last year won't mean nearly as much. You know what I mean? And that's what our, we have to keep our kids grounded and uh, moving forward, everyone wants to talk about, hey, you're going to win the next district championship. We're working, worried about week one. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's one week at a time. Sure. That's the way it's been. And that's what we always preach to our kids. And I think that they kind of have that in their minds right now, too. You know, if you start overlooking teams and things like that, you see they are can go out of the balloon really, really quickly. Yeah, it's, but I, I can tell you, you know, for me and, and that it's been great to see the elevation of the Exeter program to the, to the stratospheric level, really where it ha- has gotten here. And I think that just makes it, raises the level of football overall. I mean, not only for the team and teams in Berks, but I think in the district too. I mean, everybody's gunning oh. for so, everybody else this well, year. We're definitely not going to, you know, sneak up on anyone, that's for sure. Uh, you know, we're very aware we're going to be the biggest game for most of a you know, on the schedule for most of our opponents and you know if we don't come to play each week uh we could get walloped for sure so you know we have a target on our back we're aware of that and we just have to prepare the way we always do and you know come out to play matt the pleasure speed is it, it, you know i'm glad football is here and it's always a pleasure to talk with you all right and best oh, of luck you. this season all right thank you very much all right take care all we'll right. have more interviews as the day goes on thanks, thanks.